And there it is, 87 smithing. Hello everybody and welcome to the video. Unless this is in the middle of another video. I don't know. Guys, 87 smithing. I don't think you guys realize how important of a level that is. Not because it unlocks anything on the account whatsoever or that it aligns with any of the goals that we currently have. But 87 smithing teaches us something really important about ourselves. And that's the fact that guys, I set a goal for myself. And the second I did that, all these other things started popping up in my mind of things that I could do to procrastinate doing the actual goal. Now, what was this actual goal, you might ask? Hey guys, by the way, this is Iron Man. It's basically a main account, but everything in the boss, raids, or slayer collection log is off limits until I've earned it myself. The main idea for this series is that I go kill all these bosses and get their rare drops myself. And in doing so, I become a badass adventurer with all this gear. And then at the end of it all, I can look back and say, yeah, I earned this. I am a fucking hero and I deserve the attention of women and the admiration of my fellow men. And where that leaves us right now in the account is the big red dog deer. You might already know this, but I'm trying to kill this wolf moose dragon because there's a one in 400 chance that it drops an enhanced crystal weapon seed. And if I get that enhanced crystal weapon seed, I can turn it into this really good bow and then I can kill this thing and get this cape and and basically, that's my version of saying I'm fucking great at the game and all of you have to admit it. So to bring it back to this spiritual journey that we're on, I was smithing. And you might ask, Nine Rain, how does smithing help you kill the big red dog deer, wolf, moose, dragon, and finally achieve your goal of becoming a badass who the ladies like, and it it doesn't. But lucky for you, there is something that will help you become someone the ladies like. Okay, so picture this. It's date night. You and your partner are both feeling a little saucy, and you decide, hey, let's have RuneScape. So you scurry off excitedly. Maybe it's been a couple weeks since you've had RuneScape together. You tell her she looks fantastic. She's like, I want you to runescape me right now. And you're like, I'm gonna runescape you so good right now. And she's like, did you remember all the gear for the quest? And in that moment, you realize, oh my God, my inventory is empty. I brought nothing. I'm here to tell you that you don't have to be that guy. Cause you asked for it and I delivered and that's why today's video is sponsored by Adam and Eve. They've got discreet shipping, a 90 day no hassle return policy. And if you use my code 9 rain at checkout, you get 50% off one item plus free shipping in the US and Canada. So the next time you're gearing up to have RuneScape, just know that Adam and Eve and 9 rain got your back. Anyways, speaking of RuneScape, I'm gonna, you know, with like one of these, so. So we were at the blast furnace and I had just gotten 87 smithing. 87 smithing teaches us something really important about ourselves. I looked in my bank and I realized that I had 26,000 gold ore. Now that stack has diminished to 11,000 now as I have been here since I think 84 smithing. And why, why I'm here? Do I even enjoy this? Is this really what I'm trying to do? Not really, no. But it's kind of like when you have something important to do and you start cleaning the house and doing a bunch of random chores. Well, well, this is, this this is my random chore that I've decided to embrace. Um, and to be honest, I've actually started having a pretty good time here at Blast Furnace. I'm gonna stay until I finish all my gold ore and then we're actually gonna do what I plan to do for this video. <laughs> but you know the saying, strike while the iron's hot? Well, the iron is hot gamers and I'm getting a lot of XP. I think it's 320,000 experience per hour. My clicks are good. I've had some coffee, so the mental clarity is booming. And I'm just gonna harness the fact that right now I'm not hating myself doing Blast Furnace. So I I guess I'll see you guys when I've done 11,000 more gold ore, which could be a while. I, this could be a pretty thick procrastination session. And that brings me to my first principle in Nine Rain's guide on how to beat RuneScape in 4,000 hours or less, hopefully less. And that is to procrastinate on your goals by doing other slightly less productive shit. Now you might be wondering, what, does that say, is that a three? Why are we starting with the third principle? And bear with me on this one. Life is a journey and it doesn't always happen in a nice orderly fashion. So we're going to go back around to principles one and two. And by the end of it, you're going to be like, oh my God, I can take these principles and not only beat RuneScape, but become like a good person. So maybe this is Nine Rain's guide to how to be a good person. I don't know. This is a story, not an essay. So back to the blast furnace. Let's fucking go 88 smithing. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, I'm not procrastinating. You're procrastinating. Actually, you might be because you're watching a YouTube video about old school RuneScape. Joke's on you, idiots. You're the people who are procrastinating more. Kind of. Maybe not. We got 4.6 thousand gold ore left. <laughs> gold ore? <laughs> gold ore needs no king. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Yep. I guess I'll see, see you when this stack's done. We won't get 89 smithing, but we will finish the gold ore. So I continued my blast furnacing, despite the fact that it was not going to help me kill the big red dog deer. But that wasn't all that I was doing in RuneScape. Whoa. No way I just got 84 agility by not doing agility. Sick. The, the master plan that I had many, many videos ago actually came to fruition. <laughs> well, time to back to more blast furnace, I guess. Okay, holy shit. <laughs> Wait a minute. We only have 10 gold ore left, which means we're finished with our gold ore stack. What the fuck was that alert? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. All right, so we've, we've only got 10 gold ore left, which means we've finished with our gold ore stack. But holy shit, guys. I have 41,000 gold bars. That's so many gold bars. I mean, as far as I'm aware, I think I'm just going to sell them all because we already have 99 crafting. I also have 5,000 Adi ore, 32,000 coal, 600 runite, and 11,000 mithril. Hmm. Am I about to do a smithing grind? No, no, no. I have I have so many things. No, I, have, I must stay focused. I have goals. I have things I want to do. Okay. Fuck smithing. We're done with it for now. We got 88 and some change and uh, it's not relevant for what I'm trying to do. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. Just because I'm holding this fucking sword and I'm doing more <laughs> smithing. Look, hand in. Look, sword look good. Hand over. Okay. It's not perfect, but we got 20,000 experience. Receive another commission. <laughs> I can't stop smithing. Don't look at me like that. Fuck you and your judgment. I don't need it. I'm having fun. Okay. For some reason, this is becoming a smithing episode or at least like a smithing arc. Maybe this is just the smithing arc in a larger episode. Who knows? You know what? Guys, if you're having fun doing something in RuneScape, why not let the feeling take you? Why not just go with it? I'm having fun doing smithing. So here we are. So there we were indeed. The perfect embodiment of principle number three. Not only were we doing slightly less productive shit, we were having a good time doing it. Hey, and that's an even better sword. Look at that. 189? 189. My best sword and complete it in my best time. All right, receive another commission. We go again. Pour, pour, pour it into the, pour, pour the crucible into the mold. Now I shall grab this sword and we shall cool it off and then, and then I will smith it. Holy shit. This is the most elaborate sword I have ever attempted. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little steps to it. All right, well, uh, maybe this is my best sword to date. I'm becoming a master smith. Can we get one more hit? Oh, fuck yeah. It gives me a max hit with magic dart now. Super freaking important. Okay, I've lost my fucking mind. I've just, <laughs> I've just done a bunch of things completely wrong. This is not going to be the best sword. This is a piece of shit sword. I, I wouldn't show this work to anybody. In fact, I'm, I'm embarrassed to even, I can't even call myself a smith after this one. This is fucking terrible. Oh, and while we're here, we might as well learn a little bit about smithing and how the blast furnace works. So pay attention, gamers. Okay, guys, apparently it's better to use bars directly instead of actually using play bodies and such. Now, if you're a real Iron Man, you just do what you can. I mean, you would be using all of these, but because I'm a fake Iron Man and because I'm awesome and because I've been sitting on all this fucking loot for so long, I'm actually going to do this. Check this out. I'm actually going to sell my entire Rune, Mithril, and Addy collection that I don't know how long I've been saving up these stacks, but we're going to use all the money I get from these to buy bars. And so it'll kind of feel like we earned it. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Wonder how much money I'm gonna get from this. Three mil already. Holy shit! <laughs> How did I get that much money? How much did 8.3 mil and just the legs of the fucking... Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, we just got 37 mil. What the fuck? What on earth? I cannot believe that I've been sitting on that much money. 37.7 mil. What? Okay, well, let's see. Runite bar. How much are these going for? Holy cow. Okay, well, let's just say we want to buy a thousand of them. We're gonna buy 1,400 rune bars. Yes. And then we're gonna buy 1,400 adamantite bars as well. If you couldn't tell at this point, I started having a lot of fun, which isn't one of the principles, but more of like a byproduct.
byproduct of beating RuneScape, kind of using the principles. So, guys, we still have 17 mil. Okay, uh, we're gonna buy more, I guess. Guys, we just bought like 2,000 of each bar, and I still have 9 mil left over. The cash stack groweth larger, and now I have ass loads of bars to go through. So, I'm actually gonna go do that. Do we just do all of these? I don't know how long this will last. Well, I hope this is worth it. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing a smithing grind right now. Whatever. I don't don't care. I don't care. I'm having a good time playing RuneScape. Wait a minute, guys, I have an idea. I, look, since this is YouTube and this is all pre-recorded content, I'm actually gonna find whatever diary requirement <laughs> has the highest smithing level, which maybe it's Varric? 89 smithing, is that the highest? And then I'm gonna say at the beginning of this video, oh yeah, I was, I set out on a journey to complete this achievement diary because it would be good for my account when really the truth truth of the matter is, I just started having fun smithing and needed a way to justify my procrastinative behavior. This is the genius right here, and it brings me directly to principle 3.5 on Nine Rain's guide on how to beat RuneScape in 4,000 hours or less, hopefully less still. And that is to retroactively set even more goals that justify what you've been doing instead of what you should have been doing. And oh my god, when you realize the power of self-deception and retro proactive goal setting, my god, does your life get so much easier. And I'm not even sure that procrastinative is a word. I, th I think I just made that up. Also, halfway through that monologue, I started sounding like Archer or the Bob's Burger guy or whatever. People tell me I sound like that guy all the time. And yes, I do sometimes when I'm doing my YouTube voice. Okay, whatever. Fuck that. What am I even talking about? We, we have uh, we have a commission. Let's go start making the next sword and we'll get on with the video. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you the power of lying to yourself and in my case my youtube audience <laughs> <clears throat> hey guys, my name is Nine Rain, and today we've got a special journey, and it begins in a hole in the ground, as all good adventures do. Today, I'm going to be completing my Varric Elite Diary. The Varric Elite Diary will give me access to Varric Armor 4, which will give me a 10% chance to get double ores when mining, and it will also act like a prospector top, giving me boosted XP so I can use it at like Guardians of the Rift and fucking other activities. I think every badass adventurer is absolutely swimming in ore and minerals and the riches of the deep. So that's what we're doing here today. Did you see what I did there? That's what the video could have been. And in fact, I started recording that video. Oh my god, it's a genie. Hello, genie. Thank you, genie. Be gone now. I'm going to use this to train my least favorite skill in the game, which is thieving. Fuck you, thieving. There's 850 experience points. All right, well, back to smithing. Holy shit, 194 quality. In five minutes and 37 seconds, I'm a giant foundry god. I have ascended to a different level that other gamers can only hope to reach. And actually, speaking of, we're about to ascend to 89 smithing, so that's cool. <laughs> Dude, smithing is such a cool skill, I guess. I don't know why I'm having such a good time, but I am. Wait, I'm making money? 48k? Into your bank? Wait, he's just giving me money? Straight into the bank. Huh? That's weird. Okay, I guess that's kind of cool. Oh, the clicks. Oh, the clicks are good. Oh, the clicks are so clean. Oh, we're depositing all the shit. Look at that. The zero tick fucking... Oh, we pour, and then we run. Now, at this point, am I tipping my hand too soon, telling you guys that this is all a scam? Perhaps. Because the truth is, this smithing grind is pointless. But... All it took was me taking all that smithing and putting it under the umbrella of I am a good person and a badass for it to make a good story. And you guys were all pumped. You're like, yeah, let's become badasses. Nine Rain, way to go, man. So did I lie to you? Yes, I lied a little. And does that make it any less good of a story? I, I don't know. And what does that say about the nature of reality and setting goals in real life and about the fear of not becoming who you hope Hoped you would become. I don't know the answer to that either. But this story's not over, so maybe, maybe we'll figure that out as we go along. That's foreshadowing. Oh my god. Oh my god, I did it. 89 smithing. Huh. I guess I'm probably gonna hit 90 today. Good chance. Game's easy. Well, what can I say? Game's too easy. This is an addicting minigame. This is fun. I'm I'm having a good time. Yeehaw. Now, at this point, I went to Guardians of the Rift, and I started room crafting. And you might be wondering, Nanrain, how does room crafting help you smith? Or does it maybe help you get the very elite diary you mentioned? Or perhaps it helps you defeat the red dog deer? Well, I'm a fucking genius, and I will show you why. So we're 
gonna go do some rune crafting, and then my master plan will unravel before you. Let's go, lads. We got 200 searches. I've been playing Guardians of the Rift. Holy shit. Abyssal Pearls. Oh my god. God, abyssal ashes. No way. Wow. I wonder if I'll get anything good. Please just give me lots of pearls and, and then the lantern so I can leave here. Oh, there's a talisman. Neat. Oh, look at that. It's a sack. A pouch. Intricately woven. Very intricate pouch here. And a death talisman. <laughs> it's not nearly as terrifying as it might sound, death talisman. We're a quarter of the way through and I don't have the things that I want. Oh, there we go. Another fucking pouch. Now, Guardians of the Rift is a mini game where you run around and you mine some stuff and then you uh, turn it into other stuff. And then somehow turning that stuff into runes stops these creatures from taking over the rift which saves the world we don't know what we're doing here but the important thing is that if you do it you can get a cool outfit that increases the number of runes you get every time you make blood runes which is what i want to do because it's afk and the way you get this outfit is by saving the world and then you stand at this guardian and collect all your rewards so we're gonna do that now i'm not gonna show you all of that first stuff because it's confusing and scary but i'll show you all the rewards because that's fun. A mysterious- <laughs> Gamers, what the fuck? You're kidding me. Yes. Yo, dudes, look. We got the fucking lantern. Holy shit. No way. What do I do? How do I- Look, I think I'm supposed to use redwood logs on this thing. And then we light it up. Use redwood logs on the lantern. <gasps> Wield. Yo, it's red. That's sick. I know that this gives us some kind of boost to the mini game. I don't know what kind of boost to the mini game, but if I'm being completely honest, I don't really care. I just know that there's some kind of efficiency, something, something. Everything goes better. I think my pouch degrades less. And we got spoon fed. Collection log. Mini games. Guardians of the Rift. 474 searches. It's a one in 700, I think. But we got the lantern. I don't even know what this lost bag is. Okay, well, there's still cool things to get from here. So maybe we get lucky. <laughs> I'm watching his video now. This guy's, he's watching a video. Hope it's a good one, brother. Come on. Five more. And the final pull. That's it. Okay, let's see what the hell these pouches have. Huh? An XP lamp for 840 agility experience. Um, soul runes, pure essence. Another experience lamp. Yo, I just got a lost bag. Dude, this looks sick. I didn't even know this existed. I'm so fucking pumped about this. Guys, I look fucking awesome. This bag is uh, my new fashion scape around the game. Sick. I love that. Super happy about that. And more importantly, okay, let's see. We got 65 of these little pearls. We already have the hat and the legs. Let's go ahead and value these. 250 and value this. 350. Fuck, we're so close. Well, we have the top for the Guardians of the Rift. Okay, I am curious how much money we made just from the runes. Okay, 1.1 mil. Not terrible. We take those. That's fine. And and here we are, perhaps the final pulls. I have 20. Yay, verily, I shall extract from the reward garden. Yes, 15. I just need 10 more pearls. One more pearl drop. Please, one more pearl drop. Come on, game. Yes, okay, I th we're done. I think we got the boots. This is sick, and the pet, and then that's cool. Just give me the pet, give me the pet. Just give me the pet and the pet. Okay, no pet, don't care, it looks bad. And drop that, and look at this. Boom, withdraw all abyssal pearls. Trade this guy, buy the boots. We got five left. Look at that, boots of the eye, baby. Let's do this. Oh my God, one, two, three, four. Not only are the boots another 10%, but the set bonus is another 20% on top of that. So we went from 30% extra runes when crafting to 60%. So just with the last slot, we doubled the passive bonus of the set. Holy shit. Get out of here, little, little prospector boots. Sick. And now I can leave, guys, because the only reason we were really here was because I wanted this outfit so I could go AFK blood runes while doing other things on either other accounts or while editing or something. And we're going to get 60% more runes. So that's actually insane. Okay, we're going to make a lot of money. We're going to get a lot of blood runes. It's going to be a good time. Oh, I guess I should check the very last thing we're going to do before we leave. Here we are. Guardians of the Rift. 630 pulls. I think it's almost exactly drop rate for the outfit. It's pretty damn close. Pretty close to drop rate for the lantern. I have no idea about the lost bag 
bag. At some point, we'll come back. We'll get we'll get another 400 points. We'll get the Ring of Elements. And I also don't know what a Guardian's Eye is. But at that point, then we'll really be done with Guardians of the Rift. I don't have any intention to green log this thing. But yeah, sick. I'm going to go do Blood Rune Crafting. Now, you might be wondering, Nine Rain, did you do what I think you're doing? Did you really make up some bullshit goal to justify your smithing grind? Only to realize that in doing so, it became another goal that you could procrastinate on by doing some other grind, namely Guardians of the Rift, therefore repeating step three just to procrastinate on the already mostly useless goals that you set in 3.5? And yes, yes I did. These steps are infinitely repeatable. You can be infinitely productive by procrastinating and then retroactively justifying your fuck off behavior. <laughs> but there is a step four and we'll get to that soon. So hang in there. Configure fairy ring D-I-R. R C I S. Let's go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to RuneScape. My name is RuneScape Guy, and I'm jauntily skipping over to the Blood Rune Altar, which I'm embarrassed to say. I'm about to do some rune crafting. Life is good. We've got 133,000 experience left until the next rune crafting level, and it's an important one because at 88 rune crafting, we can craft 252 air runes simultaneously from Essence and complete our Falador Elite Diary. And if you don't know much about me, I love Elite Diaries. They're so rewarding to complete. I love it so much. So we're going to do that. Oh, really? One dense essence block and you're done? You're depleted, little guy? Okay. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to be here for a little while, but because we have the hat of the eye, the robe top of the eye, the robe bottoms of the eye, and the boots of the eye, we're going to get like another 60% extra blood runes on top of what we would normally get. So the experience rates have gone up. The GP per hour has gone up and my self-esteem has gone up. So yeah, I guess that's good. Okay, th the science is out, gamers. It does not improve your experience rates if you are wearing any of these clothes. So I, I, you get more runes, so you get more money. We're, we didn't get any less XP than when we were wearing them. So I guess that's good science. And we've got 71,000 experience left on the next level. So, yep. Okay, okay. 2.2 thousand more experience. We have 30,000 left to go. I'm, 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 I'm kind of over this, but I have a plan. For the next 30,000 experience, I am going to do my Varric Elite Diary which I have all the requirements for. And then, boom, baby, as a reward, we are going to get an antique lamp for 50,000 experience that I can use on runecrafting so I can train this skill without training this skill, which is something that makes me very happy. But we did make, look at this, holy shit. We did make 7,000 blood runes worth 1.4 mil. Not bad. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. The money at blood runes is, especially for how AFK it is, is very good. So the idea at this point was to do smithing in order to complete the Vericle Diary to get an XP lamp so we could get a rune crafting level in order to complete the Falador Elite Diary. And in completing those two diaries, we'd get a bunch of passive benefits to the account that would make me a cool adventurer and a hero. So now all we had to do was run around RuneScape and do really random shit to prove to everybody that we were awesome. And then all of my procrastination for the past three weeks would be totally worth it. And I could go to sleep at night or something. Okay, guys, let's do these. Varric tasks. Create a super combat potion in the West Bank. Use Torstall on these. Boom, boom, bam. Elite task is completed. We've got a super combat potion. Use the runeite bar on the anvil. 10 dart tips. And boom, we've completed another task. And in fact, actually, that's probably a lot of money wasted. Examine. That's 250 each. Examine. Holy shit, I'm just farting out money. That was like 40k. Okay, uh, not gonna do that anymore. <laughs> We're gonna sell the dart tips. Okay, you can't come in unless you're wearing a chef's hat. I thought I needed a brown apron. Shit game. I don't even think you need a brown apron for anything. I'm pretty sure you need a white apron for some other fucking thing. Okay, I just bought a chef's hat for a thousand gold coins. Uh, money maker, by the way. All right, bop and boopy. Enter the chef's guild. Where's the range? There it is. Pretty sure use pie shell on here? Huh? Apple. On watermelon? Huh? How do you make a summer pie? I've made an uncooked apple pie. Shit game. I've fucked it up. No. Apparently you use the pie shell on the strawberry and then the watermelon and then the apple and then you use the summer pie. Hey, look at that. We didn't even have to make it. Apparently we could have just cooked it, but that's a task completed. Okay. The next thing that we have to do is use lunar magic to make 20 mahogany planks at the lumber yard. Enter the lumber yard. What? What? You can store logs here? Wait, what the fuck is this? No way. Check, huh? You can- What? There's a log storage. Wait, I'm not sure why 
why that's useful. Wait, is this log storage for the balloon or is it so you can take it to the lumber mill? Because if there's other log storages at balloon locations, maybe one of them's near a bank and then you can store a bunch of logs in here and then run logs to the sawmill operator. Is that a thing? That'd be kind of cool. I don't know. Okay, um, plank make. Oh my God. Oh no, I forgot about this. Oh no. Oh yay um wow maybe this is why all the cats live here we're summoning them with the sound of a thousand dying kittens this is terrible okay and there's 18 there's 19 and 20 i don't know why the requirement is 20 that's kind of weird that was horrible but it's over okay now i'm gonna scurry off to the east over here to the earth altar and we're going to pray to the gods that i've done the right thing because i don't actually know how to runecraft normal runecrafting i think you just with the air earth tiara you just click on this did that? 96? Fuck me. Wait, so if I drop all of these and I empty, now this will be enough. 100, let's go. Yes, I barely had enough. Okay, sick. Wow. Niner has completed the Elite Varric Diary. My entire clan knows. Spoiler alert, guys. The video is coming out. <laughs> okay, well, it's time to go get the rewards. Talk to Toby. What's up, brother? I've completed my Elite Diary. Yo! Varric Armor 4. Okay, this, the Varric Armor 4, holy shit. I have been wanting this for so long. It looks terrible. It looks so bad it looks really 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 bad holy shit look at the fucking jesus it's so terrible looking it looks like someone poured mud on me and it just stuck and then melted a little anyways i wanted this for so long because we have a 10 percent chance of mining two of any ore including amethyst and it acts as a prospector jacket for experience bonuses and clues so we're going to be using it anytime we're doing something even remotely related to mining whether that's more guardians of the rift or Volcano, I think, or just motherload mine, but also rub antique lamp, rune crafting, boom, baby. 50,000 experience, and that's 88 rune crafting, which means now I can do my Falador Elite Diary. The Falador Elite Diary is gonna give me an increased chance at receiving higher level ores when cleaning pay dirt at Motherload Mine, and better access to the Amethyst mining spot, so that means the inevitable mining grind, which I guess I don't know whenever the hell that's gonna happen, will be easier. Uh, diaries are the best. I love diaries. They're so much fun to get done. The passive benefits feel so good on an account. So we completed the Varric Elite Diary, and now it was time to scurry around Falador and complete the elite diary there. Hey, up, Drainer Village. Is this, this was not the fastest teleport to get here. Well, the first thing that we're going to do is craft 252 air runes simultaneously from Essence. And we're going to pray to the gods that this is enough inventory space to do so. Because if it's not, then I have fucky wucky and we're gonna have to drop the cash stack and I'm gonna shit myself. So I'd rather not shit myself. So let's hope this works. Enter mysterious ruins. Craft runes. Please? No, it's not even close. Shit. Drop coins. <laughs> Put it down. Is this going to do it? What? Fuck. Okay, we gotta lose the rune pouch and the colossal pouch, I think. God damn it. Stupid game. And craft, please. 252? Did we do it? Yes! Elite task in the Faladoria. Let's go. Okay, now we crush the bird's nest. Use the toad flax on here. Use crushed bird's nest on the toad flax potion. And my dudes, that's a ceratum and brew, and we've got another elite task done. Okay, now we have to perform a skill cape emote on the top of Falador Castle, which I'm pr Oh! Well, we're fucking here, aren't we? And skill cape emote. Look at me go. Wait, that looks stupid. What was that it? Well, we did it. An elite diary has been completed. I believe we only have one more. Uh, we have to find at least three magic roots at once when digging up your magic tree. No. Oh, God. Oh, no. You're kidding. Please tell me it's a magic tree. No, it's a yew tree. Shit. Well, that means how long does it take? Magic sampling OSRS. It will grow into a magic tree after... 480 minutes? God damn it. Okay, use magic seed on the plant pot. We have a magic seedling. Water that some bitch. Now that's about to grow. Okay, it's fully grown. Magic sapling. Rake the patch. Plant the seed. Bottomless compost bucket. Use coconuts on Haskell. Pay Haskell the coconuts. And then we stand here for eight hours. So that's the Falador diary right here. <gasps> here. So... And voila, oh my god, it's a fully grown magic tree. Chop down magic tree. We cut this baby down, which I'm now realizing is going to take a very long time. So I guess I'll see you when this is over. Oh my god, it finally happened. Now, do I, do I clear? Use spade? Okay, I'm scared. 
Ah, we got four roots. We've completed all the elite tasks. Okay, I'm pretty sure. Now we just go talk to this some bitch over here in the White Knight Castle. There he is, Cerebral. Give me my things. Yes. We got the shield. We got the Falador shield. And another lamp, which I'm going to use on probably agility, if I'm being honest. Not even going to think about it. Confirm agility. 50,000 experience points. Playing the game without having to play the game. And guys, look, we did our Falador Elite Diary and and we did our Varrock Elite Diary. Two Elite Diaries in one video? I There is no way. That's got to be like a new record for me. Now, this is the part of the video where I bring it full circle and you finally discover how to become a good person or whatever it is we're doing here. And that begins with step four. This is the redemption arc where you, where you eventually go back and do the real goals that actually matter. And that brings me finally to steps one and two on non range guide on how to beat RuneScape in 4,000 hours or less, hopefully less, but also how to be a good person or something. Step one, set a really big goal that you probably can't do. And I told you what the goal was for me at the beginning of the video. It's completing the inferno. And step two is set smaller sub goals to help you get there. And that's defeating the red dog deer and getting the bow of Fernheinen or whatever so I could kill Zuck without wanting to kill myself in game. A moment of real honesty with you guys here. I actually really care about completing the inferno and getting an infernal cape. And so I really care about defeating the red dog deer and getting the bofa and full disclosure i've been doing step four for months now my corrupted gauntlet kc is really really fucking high <laughs> fucking run i need jesus fucking <laughs> but that's another video you see what i wanted to tell you guys was i think i started procrastinating and making up these other shitty goals and trying to justify them not only because i was losing my mind at the corrupted gauntlet horrible fucking <laughs> panic run oh my god but because once you set a goal that you care about, you immediately set the parameters for failure. And so then this fear of failure pops up out of nowhere and says, you'll never do that and you're stupid. And you're never going to get the enhanced crystal weapon seed in a video game. And your YouTube channel sucks and no one's going to watch that shit anyways. Or whatever it is for you, you know. But in hindsight, not only did we get a lot done. I completed two elite diaries. I got a whole bunch of smithing and runecrafting levels. But we did actually get back around to the Corrupted Gauntlet. And I'm still there. In fact, right when I'm done making this video, I'm gonna go to more Corrupted Gauntlet again, like I've been doing every single day. And so that brings me to the final step, which is step number five. And that's to be the hero you always wanted to be. Because whatever path you decide to take in life, the real magic is picking something that you really care about and then actually going for it. And so m maybe you don't end up a hero, but along the way, maybe you at least become somebody that you can look in the eye and respect. So that's what I'm trying to do here with these YouTube videos and, and this kind of progress series. I don't know. It's been a long couple of weeks, guys. I know the way that I play RuneScape is weird and maybe we lose the plot sometimes, but I think life is a lot like that too. So, uh, fuck. Go out there and kick some ass or something. I don't know if this video made any sense to you guys, but in my head, I was like, this is brilliant. So I hope you learned something either about yourself or maybe about how awesome I am in general. So... Anyways, I did learn something while recording the video, but this clip didn't really fit anywhere, so here it is for free. This one's this one's free. Wait, huh? There is a black female Falador guard. Wait, and there's an archer here too? Has this always been a thing? And they all have different weapons. Why are they using bronze? Wait, what the fuck is the budget here in Falador that all of their... Wait, bronze? Guys, it's 2023. This is no longer fucking... And they're all standing around. Why is everybody standing over here? <laughs> what? What are, the, what are the defenses like in this city? This city is... If this were a city were to come under siege, they would be fucked immediately. There's no order here. <laughs> all right, um, that's it for the video. So thanks for watching.